So I'm going to trim one of the bowls that I threw last week. First step is to get it in the middle. I am not a big fan of drawing lines on the bat to check to see if it's in the middle. And I also can't stand a Giffen grip. It's a lot quicker if you just learn how to do it the right way and you don't end up with triangular pots. So the pot is leather hard. It's a little past leather hard. So it's stiff enough that I can press on it without it giving and it's soft enough that it's still going to cut without making like dust. So to get it in the middle, a couple ways of doing it. One is called tap centering. So I'm going to take my thumbs, I'm going to corral it with my fingers. I'm just going to press until it goes in the middle. Now the majority of the part that I need in the middle is right here. This is where I'm going to be trimming. I'm not going to trim the rest of it, which is why circles don't work. So once it's right in the middle, I'm going to take a wad of clay. I'm going to press down against the pot, press the wad of clay against the wheel. This will get it stuck on. Now, there are a couple different tools in trimming. One is like a loop tool. Another is what I call the bird head tool. And I also use the flexible metal rib of death. Um, this tool I made, it's made with watch springs. Um, it's flexible, so it moves a little bit. But it's rigid this way, so I can kind of get into spots that I can't get into with a regular one. So I'm going to hold it like an extension of my finger, pressing this finger against it. This is what's holding it in my hand. The other fingers kind of help. I'm going to take my thumbs, cross them, press on the top of the pot with this finger, and then this hand does the cutting. So for later things that I do, I'm going to dip this in a glaze probably. So I want to make sure I undercut a foot here. I'm going to go back and trim that in so it matches. You see that they're coming off in ribbons, but the ribbons aren't sticking to the pot. That's the right time to trim. If you trim before that and they stick, it's a mess. Now how thick is the pot and how do you far do you know how to trim? Well, you kind of get used to how thick you throw and you know when to stop. Otherwise, you can tap on it. You can hear how thin it is. Or if it's soft enough, you can press on it. If it gives, stop. If it doesn't give, keep going. I found that only lazy people make thick pots. If you were to take this off the wheel and check it with your hand, you would know exactly how thick it is. Now, being lazy, you would say, well, it's, it's trimmed enough and not put it back on the wheel. You would know, though, that it's thick. So if, if, if you're in doubt, take it off the wheel, check it again, and then just recenter it. It's better to have a, spend a couple more minutes on a pot and have a good pot than have a mediocre pot and get it done quicker. So to trim out the center here, I'm going to use the corner of the tool to start in the middle and move out towards 3 o'clock, go back and flatten it. Now I've smoothed out my foot, take my flexible metal rib of death, and get rid of the grog trails that are down here. Almost burnish it so that it's nice and smooth. And there we go, we're done. Now this one, I'm going to cut in half so you can see how thick a bowl is. and where the weight of the clay is. Ah, see? So, it's the right thickness here, but I could have taken off a little more in the bottom. Not everybody's perfect.